Good morning from a snow-covered North Dakota. Man, oh man, these are the these are the mornings that you dream of right here. We got snow overnight. You know, it snowed yesterday when we were Kane and I were in the blind, but it it started coming down pretty good after dark. So we got a we got a light dusting of snow. It's helping for visibility. Clear skies, <laughs> and the sun is coming up behind me. It is an absolutely beautiful morning here in North Dakota. Freezing, freezing cold. It's like 27 or 28 degrees right now. I'm hoping that since the wind and the precipitation is done, These deer, and especially these bucks, are going to be on their feet tonight, cruising around, just looking. I mean, if there's a morning that these deer are going to cruise a little bit later, this is it. It is absolutely beautiful. can hear the duck hunters hammering away in the background. The wind has died down significantly. Really no other place I'd rather be. This is, uh, this is perfection. From a hunting standpoint, this is, uh, this is about as good as it gets. I'm sitting on this tree row and I got some thick cover. I got some thick cover right behind me and then the lake slough that I think they're bedding in is right over my shoulder. I'm not sure how this is gonna play out but I'm, I'm grateful to be here, that's for sure. Didn't even know if we were gonna be able to make a North Dakota trip happen this year. A second one, I should say, and made the last minute decision to come out here. And it's a quick run and gun hunt, different, different than our early season trip, but the couple days out here is just this purifying, soul rebooting. I think about the 10 years that we've been coming out here and all that we've all that we've accomplished and the difference in in the type of hunters that we actually are. I'm, yeah, I'm just, I'm grateful for, for this land. I'm grateful to be a hunter and I'm, I'm grateful to be breathing right now and looking at this beautiful sunrise in the background. Sun's coming up behind me. It's warming things up a little bit already. It's kind of nice. Good old home style cooking. Sounds like I'm back in Nashville with that train. Oh yeah, a little fried bread taco you can't call them indian tacos anymore because it's uh 
I don't know what it is. Not honorable, apparently. Just like the Cleveland Guardians. <clears throat> anyway, filled my belly. I'm warmed up. Had some beef and vegetable soup, which was terrific. And that cold weather is whooping me right now. But, got to get back on the grind. I'm going to go uh, grab another stand and I got to put up a stand before I get into the one I'm hunting tonight because tomorrow's wind is going to switch and if I don't, I'm not, I just don't like the wind for the stand that I'm in in the morning. Oh boy, well, quick lunch, quick turnaround, grabbed an XOP and I'm heading back up to the to the land. It's uh it's about 1:30. It's early, but I'm going to try and go get this get another stand hung for the morning and and then I'm going to crawl up into the same stand that I was tonight. The wind shifted a little bit out of the now it's out of the northwest, which is actually better for the stand that I was in earlier and it's gonna switch to dead south in the morning and it's gonna be pretty calm. So I'm gonna set up a spot. I found a scrape coming out and I'm gonna set up a spot closer to that scrape. It's actually gonna be closer access and easier access for the morning. I booted a couple deer this morning going in. It didn't really seem to make a huge, huge difference, but my access for tomorrow will be a whole lot better given that I'm gonna be hunting in the morning, who knows? Hopefully he'll take a walk tonight and we won't even have to worry about it. I'm just gonna hang, hang this stand for show. But nonetheless, I'm gonna, I have to prepare for the morning regardless. Not knowing what's gonna happen tonight, I have to have a spot to go in in the morning with limited time up here. So I'm gonna do that, climb up into the one that I hung yesterday and that I was in this morning. There's, there's bucks here. I mean, it's just a matter of one of them taking a walk and taking a walk down the tree row that I'm sitting on. So I'm excited. It is an absolutely beautiful, picture perfect, late October hunting day, 43 degrees right now. There's a little breeze that's rolling in and we're supposed to get some intermittent cloud cover, which would be superb for this evening's hunt. So I'm excited, grateful to be here and just gonna go keep grinding and enjoy the time. All right, you guys, got a new set home for the morning. It's actually perfect. It's super windy right now. Um, it's kind of weird because it was not calling for this much wind, but nonetheless, I got this hung. Real easy access right off the back of this field. I'll slip up the back of this field line, slip right in here, and I, there's a scrape right under this tree, 25 yards in front of me. Honestly, I can swing it. I may be shooting it, sitting down just to try and minimize my movement um, but nonetheless I, I, I like the spot significantly better for the morning it's going to keep most of the movement in front of me I'm going to have wind in my face but the little wind that there is is going to be right in my face so hell yeah the grind continues another set hung with the XOPs here in North Dakota Off the tree line. 
Just the last chance of a deer caught in my tracks. Deer track all the way here. Sí, sí.